You're gonna come out of there, little guy? You really went out, don't you? Just making sure there's no live blood vessels. I'm trying. I think you're ready, but... Just looks a little bit pink there. Nothing bleeding. You're almost there. Yeah, let me get this one. There we go. That'll help her. Head come out. Come on, you do the work. Oh, all right, here. Almost. You are just so darn close. Here we go. So you can see there's actually an inner membrane right here, which is what has the blood vessels on. And the outer membrane. And then your shell. And the fact that I'm not hitting any live blood vessels tells me that the yolk is probably absorbed. And I think the reason this one's having so much trouble is she, this is the one that had pipped when she was on and off the nest. And I just, I think there was too much going on. Dried out a little bit. Okay, let's try it again. Come on. Try a little different angle. No, nope, not gonna do it. Let me get a little over here. I know you went out really bad. That might do it. Yeah, that membrane's definitely right out there. Uh, nothing live. All right, let's get you out of there. Come on. Can you do it now? Yeah. You are still kind of stuck. Almost. I did let this little guy um, rest for quite a while before I made this decision to go ahead and help. Um, it was really active earlier and I noted it had been uh, about 24 hours since it pipped. So, come on, you got some fight in you? There you go. Now we're doing it. There you go. Now, before I, well, you're just going to take it upon yourself to come on out, which is okay. Ah, uh, no. We're good. Okay. I have just a little bit of bleeding, not totally abnormal. Um, but you can see what the inside looks like there, so... I'm not going to pull the shell away. I'm just going to kind of leave it like this and stick this guy back in the incubator. There's another one working on getting out right now, so have a buddy.